The chief way that the mask protects me personally from getting COVID-19 is because it reminds me not to touch my mouth, my nose, or my eyes. The importance of how you put on a mask and take it off is all focused on not touching your eyes, mouth, and nose. And so to do that, I take it by the straps and I make sure keeping away from the mouth, eyes, and nose that I put it around my ears. And then be, be, being very careful that when it's in this position to still not touch the mouth or the nose as I'm putting it over my nose. What's very important once you now have the mask on and when I am out in public is to keep it in this position until I'm at home. So what you really don't want to do is have it go below the nose. I get it that it is sometimes uncomfortable to breathe or if you're like me and you wear glasses, you may want to do this. But as you see now, my nose is exposed. And in addition to me potentially forgetting that I'm not supposed to touch my nose. I now am also talking as it goes below and now exposes my mouth. And then if I'm asymptomatic, but actually have COVID-19, I could actually infect other people in my general vicinity. So it's very important to keep it like this at all times. And thus then making sure that when you get home and only when I get home, I remove it again, taking it by the straps and take it off. Typically, when I get home from going out, I will then go ahead and throw my mask in the wash um, just to make sure that anything that may have been picked up when I was outside um, doesn't remain in the house. So I happen to be quite lucky in having the world's best mother-in-law who, in addition to being uh, an incredible seamstress that was able to make me a mask, was able to customize it based on my favorite superhero, Batman. And the reason why I love Batman is because his superpower is his brain. And one of the ways that we're going to get through the COVID-19 pandemic, and we will, is by using our brains. And we will get through this together.